Are you recording? Why I moved from Premier Pro to Davinci Resolve? Firstly, Premier Pro don't stress my life. Like, come on. Like, I was using Windows before I moved to uh, Mac. When I was using Windows with Premier Pro, they hang too much. Like, the stress. It's been like every month before. But I now, like, moved to Crack. Because I don't have to do it. Why I pay every month? Like, it's crazy, man. So I started using uh, da Vinci like two years ago I dive into it it was looking complicated and all then I went back to Premiere Pro Premiere Pro stressed me again like I had one project I was doing it was always doing blah 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 so I was not like feeling it so I moved to Da Vinci I learned Da Vinci online and everything and I enjoyed the process like come on there's a free version of Da Vinci which is accessible to everybody so you can download it for free it's easy peasy you understand me no stress on like Premiere Pro you need to put your card and everything but there's also a paid version of um, Da Vinci, which is Da Vinci Studios. Yo, I want to spell it deep for me. Let it deep for Buy the deep, buy the Hello? I do, I'll follow now. So, another thing I love about um, Da Vinci is the speed. Like, you can edit 4K footage seamlessly, no stress. Unlike Premiere Pro, you have to wait for it to render and all that stuff so you get. That's mad auto save. Premiere Pro, if you not save your file for like two minutes, yes, if you not save your file for like two minutes, the Premiere Pro that I use, the way they crash anyhow, it's learning here, your footage don't go with that too because I've experienced this kind of stuff before. If DaVinci like this, as you're editing, it's saving to the database, straight up, no stress, so you get me. Another thing I love about DaVinci is the auto sync. Auto sync is crazy. Like you can pack your audio and your video footage in one folder in one bin. Then boom, auto sync. Don't sync with that. No, like Premiere Pro, you have to like listen or use Pro Eyes. So you get this on one time. Easy peasy. Make sure it's in very very fast. The interface is crazy, shy. It makes and Hey! English, leave me alone! <laughs> The interface is very very cool. Like it makes you look like a professional, it makes you look like you know what you're doing. When you see the interface, like wow, come on. Because when I first opened Da Vinci then it looks like um cinema. There's one app, Cinema 4D and Maya, then it looks complicated because you have to use notes and all that. You no. Know? You have everything on your tab. You don't need to move from one app to another to do stuff from the color to the code. We have like seven tabs. So you get the first part is where you arrange all your media files, you import all your media files and everything. The second part is where you uh, do some cuts, cuts, you want to do like quick cuts and everything. So the third tab is where everything happens, like the tab that you are familiar with from your Premiere Pro and um, Final Cut or any app you are using, so you get where you do the cutting, arranging of your clips, b-rolls and everything, that's where everything happens. So the next tab is the Fusion tab, that's where we do all the effects and all that, so you get, we are going to go back into that Fusion tab in another video. The next tab is the color tab. That's where all the magic happens. That's the real black magic. That's the real magic she gets. Before, when I use Premiere Pro, once I'm done cutting my footage, I export as either XML or QuickTime. Import to DaVinci. Cut, 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 cut. Do all my colors. Export back. Import back to Premiere Pro. Too much stress. Too much stress. But with DaVinci, once you're done cutting from your main cut tab, boom, you move to your color straight. Boom. Sometimes, Moving from apps to apps, man, can be so draining and tiring. Shake it, but the joy that you can do everything in one single app. The next tab is the fair light. That's where you do your sound design, your audio balancing. This video I'm recording straight from DaVinci Fair Light. As you can see, the sound is looking sharp, Abby. It's looking sharp. And the last tab is the export tab. That's where we do all our export. If you want to export to any device you have the options there you can export to youtube twitter facebook everything easy peasy for you as you can see and you can export like 20 30 videos at once unlike premiere pro you have to like use uh, adobe encoder uh, this one no third party plugin boom 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 render all one time
another reason why I love DaVinci is that I know you're worried about the um, shortcut you've been using from your previous app, Final Cut or Premiere Pro. Guess what? You can import all your shortcuts from other apps, Premiere Pro, DaVinci, very easy. And if you don't want to go to that stress, you can actually create your own custom um, key tabs, like the famous cut button, the famous V button, the famous control save button, and all that. Easy peasy. What I don't like about DaVinci is that it's very hard for you to collaborate with other editors as there are not many people using DaVinci Resolve yet. Jay, get me now. For example, now I did a video, we shot the video, like I did it from like beginning to the end using DaVinci. Me thinking that once I'm done, because I'm not the only one doing the edits, we still have to give sound design, give other like other editors to use the multiple edit video. So I did my first cut, did everything, everything was nice. So time to export to XML so that other editors can like work on it. Jay, because they use Premiere Pro and Final Cut, all that. So I exported the video, it was fine but all the sync sync problems like you know on DaVinci now is auto sync so all the auto sync that happened in DaVinci did not happen in Premiere Pro so it was now using like the original audios blah 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 some files were, were not in sync and all that so that's like what I think DaVinci needs to like work on very well and I want more people to like learn DaVinci use DaVinci easy peasy especially for people that are using phones to edit if you use your phone to edit videos very very easy i think i'm going to do another video on how to use your phone and how to use your phone with davinci resolve very very sweet so these are like the few tips for now i'm just going to make another video but for now this is like what i love about davinci resolve go and try davinci resolve now very easy easy peasy and thank me later kindly subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos subscribe like comment share this video gracias amigos